Okay, question four. Demonstrate algebraically that the line 3x plus 4y minus 25 equals 0 is tangent to the circle and find the coordinates of the point of tangency. Tangency. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit here and get to work. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to end up substituting the line into the, uh, into the equation there. So let's take the line here as 3x plus 4y minus 25 equals 0. And I'm going to solve for a variable here. We might as well solve for y uh, just because y is just that kind of variable. It makes you want to solve for it. And then we divide both sides by 4. Okay, so there we go. Now we'll take this expression and we'll substitute it into the y coordinate here in the equation of the circle. Okay, so that's going to become x squared plus, well, we now know that y is negative 3 quarters x plus 25 quarters squared, and that this should all equal 25. Okay, and this is a binomial being squared, and so, okay, we need to, we need to expand that out. Now remember, this is not just first term squared plus or minus the first term squared. Okay, this, this is going to have three terms. Uh, the first term will be 9 sixteenths x squared, and then we're going to have uh, we're going to have two terms that are going to be negative 75 over 16. So altogether, that's going to be negative 150 over 16 x, and then here it's going to be uh, 25 over 4 squared. So it'll be 625 over 16 equals 25. Okay, now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to group together uh, like terms here and, and add things up. So what we've got is we've got x squared and 9 sixteenths x squared. Well, okay, that's going to give me 25 x squared over 16. Okay, uh, then we're, we've got this negative 150 over 16 x plus 625 over 16 equals 25. Well, okay, we got the makings of a quadratic here, but what we got to do is is get rid of the the denominators here. So we're going to multiply this whole thing through by 16. In a sense, this kind of goes back a little bit to the the chapter that we did, sorry, the chapter that we did on rationals. So I'm going to multiply through by 16, and that is going to get me 25x squared minus 150x plus 625 okay, equals 400 on the other side there. Now let's bring everything over. So 25x squared minus 150x, bring that over, will be plus 225, okay? And now I can see quite clearly that I've got a common factor of 25 to all these things. So I'm gonna divide both sides of the equation by 25. Uh, that's gonna get me 6x here and 9x equals zero. And this takes me down to a really nice quadratic. And when I solve that, or factor it, it's going to become x minus 3 squared, which means that my only solution here is the, uh, x equals to 3. Now that, right there, verifies that this is in fact a tangent. It says here, demonstrate algebraic, whoops, sorry, demonstrate algebraically that the line is tangent to the circle. Well, I'm seeing that I'm only getting one solution for x here. Okay. Now the question still asks me to solve for the, the point of tangency, so what I'll do is I'll come over here, okay, because this is this is my uh, my y coordinate, and I got x was equal to three, so I'll plug that in here. So negative three times three, okay, because remember how this works when you multiply a fraction by a by a number here, it's just the numerator, so negative three times three, so it's gonna be negative nine fourths plus twenty-five fourths. That's going to be 16 fourths divided by 4 is 4. So therefore your point of tangency is going to end up being the point 3, 4.